Minnesota is a state filled with beautiful scenery and remarkable cities big and small. New Ulm, the county seat of Brown County, is one such town, both attractive and thriving. This little gem has bunches of super sites and is teeming with one-of-a-kind attractions and engaging activities. Relaxation, active pursuits, and all-around enjoyment are available in this picturesque city, making it an excellent getaway destination for those looking to take advantage of the state's many attractions. There are a variety of interesting and entertaining things to do in New Ulm, Minnesota, that all sorts of folk will enjoy. You can take a trip to the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame, explore the beauty of nature at Flandrau State Park, or kick back and relax in German Park. If you're searching for an adventure outside of the norm, or just somewhere different to relax and chill for a while, New Ulm is the place to go. Check out this list of the best things to do in New Ulm that you might want to include in your upcoming Minnesota holiday. One of the main draws in New Ulm, Minnesota is the historic Minnesota Music Hall of Fame, located along North Broadway Street in the center of the city. Even though Minnesota's natural beauty is undoubtedly captivating, it is also a home of energetic folk and popular music, and has been for generations. Housed in a delightful old public library, the museum was created to recognize and commemorate past and present musicians who have made significant contributions to Minnesota's music scene. Whether you're a music fan or not, you'll have a great time dancing through the museum's corridors and checking out each of its displays. The museum is divided into numerous categories that represent the diverse variety of musical legacy displayed throughout the state's historical development. It serves as a brilliant dedication to some of Minnesota's favorite musical children, as well as Minnesota's love for toe-tapping tunes. It contains unique artifacts from musical groups and individual artists, as well as countless images of those who have been inducted into this Hall of Fame. Among the many great Minnesota music icons who have earned a rightful place in the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame are Prince, Judy Garland, Whoopi John, the Andrews Sisters, and Bob Dylan, to name just a few. Sure, you can take a flight to see a German garden in the OG Ulm in Germany, but why waste the airfare? The city of New Ulm has its own picturesque German garden in the form of German Park. German Park is a serene green space in town where visitors can gather to enjoy various outdoor recreational activities. Among the best things to do in this immaculate park is to enjoy a series of free concerts held in the park during the summer months. Summer or not, you can just prance the grounds to your heart's content around German Park's lush green lawns, play ball or frisbee, enjoy a picnic, or just enjoy a quiet moment beside the park's majestic fountain. For the wee ones, there's also a playground where kids can play and let off some steam. This wicked playground, complete with musical instruments, a German-themed castle, and a gravity rail is sure to provide all kinds of thrills. German Park's well-appointed grounds provide a perfect backdrop for any party, reunion, wedding, or reception. New Ulm is brimming with lovely parks to visit, and one of the most wonderful is Flandrau State Park, nestled in a beautiful valley created by the winding Cottonwood River, which provides a wonderful backdrop of nature and a serene ambiance. As well as the river, the state park is surrounded by marshes, wet and dry grassland, and flora in all shapes, sizes, colors, and smells, making it a delightful natural haven. It's also an important sanctuary for local wildlife in New Ulm, and if you're lucky enough, you'll be greeted by this diverse array of fauna. It's a great place to do some bird or general nature spotting. Among the wildlife that lives on its 982 acres of beauty are gray foxes, white-tailed deer, and beavers. There are also a few coyotes, which I'll be honest, aren't the best things to come face to face with, but they're certainly more scared of you. Apart from twitching, Flandrau State Park is an ideal spot to enjoy some more rigorous activities, such as hiking on its trails during the warmer months. The fun doesn't stop in winter either, for a variety of winter sports can be enjoyed when it gets chilly, such as cross-country skiing or snowshoeing. Traveling broadens the mind, and nothing broadens the mind more than learning about a new place's history. After an hour or two of basking in the beauty of nature in the Flandrau State Park, dive into a tour that tackles the town's history at New Ulm City Cemetery. A graveyard? Really, dear travelers? No, a cemetery and it's one of the most important and hallowed pieces of ground in the city. Well worth your time. Like any town cemetery, New Ulm City Cemetery is a physical reminder of the history of New Ulm. 
Tours offered by the Brown County Historical Society are filled with moving and formative narratives from the city's earliest settlers, as well as the effects of the horrific US Dakota War of 1862. The cemetery tour is the final event in the week-long US Dakota War commemoration held every year. To pay homage and hear powerful and courageous Dakota War stories makes a tour of the city even more memorable. Tasting a good beer, or two, more six, is among the best things to do in New Ulm that you should not miss. So pay a visit to Shell's Brewery. It is a well-established brewery recognized for German-style pilsners and other delicious lagers enjoyed throughout the state and the rest of the US. Shell's Brewery is the second oldest family-owned brewery in the States, and the oldest one in Minnesota. The local beer business in New Ulm City is grounded in German immigration, which in the 1850s reached its peak. Due to the weather, soil, and number of immigrants from beer-loving nations, Minnesota proved to be one of the most fruitful sites for brewing in the country, and became well known for its excellent beers. Shell's Brewery features an on-site museum, and gives fascinating tours. A visit to the museum offers terrific talks about the company's beer, its history, as well as some tasty samples. A visit to the Hermann Heights Monument is a must-see on any trip to New Ulm. This famous sculpture is of Arminius, the ancient Roman officer and defector, later chief of the Cheruscans, who was instrumental in negotiating an alliance among the different Germanic tribes and driving the Romans out of Magna Germania. Officially the Hermann Heights Monument, Hermann the German is the affectionate nickname often used by locals to describe the statue. This stunning monument is included on the National Register of Historic Places due to its aesthetic value and historical significance. Also in 2000, it was recognized as the official symbol of the contributions and efforts made by Germanic Americans recognized at the 106th United States Congress. Climbing up the stairwell to the statue for a panoramic view of the river valley is one of the most enjoyable things to do at this historic landmark. There's also an interpretive center at the monument that contains interesting exhibits and artifacts. The Hermann Heights Monument is located at Hermann Heights Park, where you may enjoy the park's ground for picnics, strolling, while the kids make use of the park's playground. New Ulm, Minnesota is a surprising little treasure that has no shortage of interest and adventure, and is an excellent destination to explore. A tour of this charming city and its surroundings promises a magnificent getaway experience for those seeking outdoor adventure and historical insight across a memorable journey of Minnesota. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram via our handle at viatravelers, or check out our blog at viatravelers.com.